hello guys my name is paul and welcome back to the channel as you can see i've got a text file here with this text written in it exactly what i just said hello my name is paul so today's video i'm going to um, show you how you can work with external files in python so just a quick start it's not going to be anything massive so we have a text file here and i want to be able to access the content of this text file from my app.py file that i have over here now in order to do that it's very simple what you are going to do is to just open the file in python read the content of the file and then make sure you close the file it's very important to make sure that you close the file because if you don't close the file then you you would end up opening a lot of files in memory that's if you are working with a lot of different files and depending on the size of the file you know your program might crash if the memory is full and all of that so it's good to be memory um conservative i think that's the word for it so we are going to open up the file in python i'm going to create a variable okay no before that i'm going to open up the file in python and to do that we have a function an inbuilt function called open and then this takes the full path to the file and in this case the file is in the same directory as this python file so i don't need to you know write c slash users that kind of thing i just need to give the relative path which is the path relative to this particular app that i'm in so i've named the file test file.txt so i'm going to write that test file.txt then the second argument is the mode that you want to open the file in um we have a read which is signified by the letter r we have write signified by the letter w and if it is binary you can do it read binary and you write something like rb or write binary which is wb depending you should bar in this particular video we are only going to be reading first so for me to read all i need to do is to pass another string here with the r which tells python that i'm trying to read the file now this will open up the file now i need to store the opened file so I'm going to create a variable as my file should be equal to this particular statement over here. So Python will open the file and then basically store that file in this variable. Now, this is an object. The file, my file, um, yeah, my file variable over here is now an object. So what I need to do is to use some methods of this file to be able to read the file. And the easiest method is my file dot read this method retains everything that's inside the file and in this case since the txt file and i'm reading it it's just going to bring back the text that is inside the file so i'm what i want to do is to be able to print out the text over here and then after i'm done like i said we should be able to close the file and it has a method for that all i need to do is to do my file not that my file dot close and this will close the file so if I run this particular thing, I should be able to get the text printed out in my terminal it's from this line. And that is how it is done. You can also do this with an easier statement. Well, I just mentioned the statement I use. It's a width. In Python, you can write a statement like this. With open, you write a file name, it's the same thing. So test file.txt and i'll be opening it or the mode down to open it is and i'm basically reading it so i'll put the r there as f usually use f just for file then i want to do something so i want to be able to print f.read and i'm going to run this so that we'll see whether it does the same thing then i'll explain what exactly happened over there oops um no such file or directory test file.txt. Oh, okay, yes, I forgot to add a comma over here. This is what happens when you decide to, you know, do the thing live. All right, so yeah, the same thing happens again. It brings back the test in over there. Now, with this way of writing the code, you don't need to close the file after opening it. This is because the with statement in Python is essentially a code block and everything under this particular statement or this particular line of code everything under this block 
would be executed as long as this file is opened as f so if you are outside of this block the file is closed so automatically python closes the file when it done when it is done running all the code under the with statement because of this we mostly use this format when we are working with external files with open the file name and then the mode as a certain variable then you print or you do whatever you want to do with the file in the name of this variable now just as we are able to read from the file we can also write so i could change this statement to f dot right line or right lines and all i need to do is to put an iterable since i said right lines it means i'm it's looking for multiple lines to write so i need to put an iterable by the string of lines that i want to write so i can put there 44 as the first thing and i can put another thing as i am trevenue trevenue 44 so these are two things that i would like it to write so all i need to do is to make sure i change the mode that i'm in currently i'm in the read mode i want to change to the write mode so that which is w so that i'll be able to you know write to the file so if i run this well it writes the file and obviously i don't output anything so i wouldn't see but as you can see if i come back to my test file it writes the 44 and then it continues to write i am trevenue 44 and that's how it works so basically this is how you work with external files this is just the basics you can either open the file do whatever you want to do with the file and then close it or you you, you write it in this form with the with statement and with this i think it's much simpler so guys this is how you should also get started with working with external files i would actually give um a better tutorial on this but for now learn how to work with this there are csv files json files which you can use to store your data for um future use so you don't need to you know always overwrite your variables uh, anytime you run your program you can decide to store the current state of the variables in a file and then you import them or load them or read them whenever you run the application this is for basic things because obviously you can't store someone's password in a in a text file like it will be secured but honestly guys start using external files so that's it for this video i thank you all for watching if you did enjoy the video you know what to do feel free to leave a comment you know tell me what you think about the video whether it has been helpful anything you like me to improve on just let me know i would actually appreciate the feedback thank you all for watching i'll see you in the next one.